markets, new demand, new solutions. Uh, and also, we, we need to talk about the fact it's European, because uh, I know tomorrow you're going to hear about branding. Branding is terribly important, and one of my biggest things is to try and tell the world that Europe is the best at science, engineering, and technology. And I'm not saying that because I've just plucked that out of the air and I've imagined that. It's because that's what the data tells us. It tells us that our research impact is very high. So if I ask you space, space research, satellites, space agency, what's, what does immediately come to your mind? Everybody thinks about NASA. It's not the best. The best in the world is the European Space Agency. Now, thinking about that, uh, and I visited the, the, the headquarters of the European Space Agency last week, and I asked them, where is your app on the iPhone? I've got one that says NASA on the iPhone. I don't have one that says ESA, European Space Agency. I have an app on my iPhone which is called APOD, Astronomy Picture of the Day just something beautiful to brighten up your day. Where's the one from ESA? And they said to me, oh, that, that's not in our charter. And I said, yeah, but you were set up 40 years ago. The world's different now. Communicate. Because if we don't believe in Europe that we're the best, how do we encourage the smartest young people to consider a career in science, engineering, and technology? How do we consider the people with money to invest in us if we don't tell them how good we are? So that's something we really need. And technology. We will compete on the basis of being smart. If we don't invest in that, if we stop putting uh, something into the beginning of the pipeline, then in a few years when we really need it, will be nothing coming out the other end. And others who have had foresight will rush past us. And you know, science, engineering, and technology, it is a competitive game, and it's also time limited. You have to be at the forefront. It's an example of something where it's important to be first. Being second isn't really very good. There are exceptions, but generally I would say that. So, you can look at different countries and what strategies they've adopted. And uh, the, the UK has done better than we might have expected in as much as they did not cut research funding. They didn't increase it either. So it stayed, uh, we call it flat cash. So the cash settlement is the same. Inflation has gone up. So we're seeing uh, in real terms a reduction. But in Germany, the government in Germany said, hmm, we should invest. There is, there's an economic downturn. We need to invest in science, engineering, and technology. Now, if you look at Germany's share today of high-value science and technology-related business, it is increasing markedly because they've done what others didn't do because they knew this is the time we should invest. Now, it's not just government investment. If you look at business R&D, I am surprised uh, and, and pleased to see that many of our most successful businesses at times of austerity, where people are not buying their products or so much, what do they do? Do they cut back on research? No, they invest in research. So what they're saying